mean, that, that granddaughter and all, I hope it'll uh, be a super nice Christmas for all of y'all. What's going on down there, Joe? when you get through uh, clearing those lungs up. Rearrange it for your new radio and everything. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, working pretty good for me. I'm pretty happy, and uh, I guess can't say a whole lot. Well, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, the big thing is, if you're happy, uh, that's the main thing. So uh, I hope you are. Might be a good idea if he's happy. There you go, Tim. How are you? Merry Christmas. And a happy ho ho to everybody else. I mean, every me and you, so but um, that's good. So I wish you a uh, happy, happy Merry Christmas to you and uh, the family. And I will uh, do a few wins today, I guess. Anyway, Marty. So, uh, Thanks again for everything, I appreciate it, okay? And, uh, <clears throat> and I still have the box here. Been so busy done things, I have to put them on a mail for you, but maybe after Christmas. Or maybe uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Something next week sometime. I don't know if you... Okay, Mario, you know, set 73. Again, have a great... I mean, that ain't, uh, you still got a whole lot of computer left, so you're in real good shape. Yeah, when I get that other video card in there, I think I'll be even better. Uh, yeah, you get that one video off your motherboard there, yeah. But it's, uh, it's fine the way it is, but, you know, you, you'll, uh, these little tweaks you do, you're going to be more gooder. But you're good to go right now. Well, I appreciate it, and, and I owe, uh, uh... Uh, I'll see if you're doing hot here. Uh, we got a little bit earlier, we had uh, two or three good contacts. So I think today is a good day. I think there's enough people off work that they're able to get on and uh, do a little bit of ham radio. 
I'm not going to hold it with anybody else on frequency. 73, thanks again for the call from Texas, and I wish you the very best there for a good holiday, Walt. W5WLT, please 7 at DJX for about a few of Okay, Doug, you're good. Yeah, you're good on Arizona. You can have some time up there outside of Wickenburg. Anyway, he spent some time in my area. I uh, really like it there. Uh, I haven't been there for a while. We was up to Solo last year to visit my sister up there. Uh, anyway, uh, real good on that. I know there's a lot of folks calling to have a happy holiday. See you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Your last transmission here was a kind of high solid. But uh, I've got a pretty high noise right here. No problem. Anyway, next time Doug, I'll see you soon. Okay, we're all welcome to you. And thank you again for the detail. And the report there from Texas. Uh, W5WLT 37 is ahead. It was on a clear end. But you are dead if anybody else copies Arizona. So we have seven guys to do it. Okay, seven DHW, KA seven DHW, we copy you, Arizona. Uh, there were a couple stations in there, give me a call. I wasn't able to pull out anybody there. Give me another call to a uh, seven. Did you touch it and it'll turn red? Yeah, you should hear the noise level come up. And it turned red? Mine turned blue. Well, yours might be blue, Donnie. Mine turns red on uh, on my 5000, so yours may turn blue. Now, it turns red. Mine turns red on my second receiver. Of course, that's a different story there, but anyway, you know, that's just something I'm not familiar with because I have never sat down in front of a 3000. What's, uh, what's going on here? What do you say, Captain Lewis? Oh, I'm getting ready to start a big bonfire out here after a while and uh, see if I can attract Sandy Claus. That'd be four counterclockwise. Good evening, Craig. Good morning. Hey, Wayne. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you and, and this whole uh, motley crowd. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you, sir. Have you went out there in the front drive and laid out uh, a, a patch about six foot wide and about 100 foot long where you could land? Uh, say that again. Now, what what you say? You got a place marked out there about six foot wide and about a hundred foot long, and it's lit up so he know where to land it at? Yeah, just about. No, I got a big old uh, burn pile pit out there. About two, two or three foot deep and about 12 foot in diameter. And that's where we build our bonfires and where we burn our debris. But, yes, yeah, it's going to be a Christmas bonfire tonight. All right, well, good evening, Craig, and Merry Christmas. I'm going to sit here and listen to Donnie talk on his radio. Oh, boy. Well, Mr. Willis, uh, see if it stacks up down there. Is it stacking up pretty good? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Got a, got, a, got a water hose out there last Christmas. Somebody called the fire department on us, and uh, they, the ladder truck came down the road. Yeah, I remember you telling that. Uh, that's what I said a while ago. I know what's coming, a fire truck. Oh, because I'm, I'm going to call them here. I, I sure hope so, Tobias, and uh, you, do, you do the same thing, all right? All right, buddy, 73s, and uh, Jim, Tobias, we'll catch you guys uh, a little bit later. And uh, thanks for checking into the Night Watch tonight. Uh, all right, next station up is KB9, Uniform X-Ray X-Ray. Your turn, over. Yeah, uh, good evening to you, uh, Wells, and everybody on the uh, net this evening. This is KB9, United X-Ray. Okay, now, well, I guess it is.
down to school. And I'll just cut it out. Those are inexpensive ones, really. I mean, they're not real high price, but Bose Companion, too. And 